What's up? Bird. Bird, why? Bird, why, sir? Bird, why, sir? Remember that, man? Remember that? Probably not. Most of you were probably negative eight when that commercial was on the air. I was there. I was there in 1996 when Budweiser released the frog commercial. I told him, don't do it that way. You'll never make a dime. It was 1995. Yeah, but 1996 is a better reference to losing my edge by LCD sound system. So yeah, sometimes you have to compromise. Casting of Frank Stone today. Nerp. Mixed reviews. People with 4090s saying that it doesn't run on their PC because it's so unoptimized. We might give that one a little. Uh, we might give that one a little time. Space Marine 2 today? Yeah, absolutely never. For sure. Are we in the Warhammer cycle? Super excited for the Warhammer game. It comes out. Negative reviews. Yeah, but the next Warhammer game is going to do it. Super massive today. Are you listening? Open your ears. Okay, I might be on mono, but at least I'm paying attention. Let me see. Space Marine 2. Let's see what's going on with this. Help others by writing a review. Have you made an online purchase from steampower.com before? Nope. Never. Can't say I have. Honestly, can't say I have. Embody the superhuman skill and brutality of a space marine. Unleash deadly abilities and devastating weaponry to obliterate the relentless tyranid swarms. Defend the Imperium in spectacular third-person action in solo or multiplayer modes. Can I tell you my problem with the Warhammer games, apart from not knowing anything about Warhammer, is that I feel like, isn't this like the 90th Space Marine 2? Like, I feel like there's 25 games called Warhammer 40k Space Marine. There's not? Okay, let me type Warhammer into the search bar. Let me see what we got. Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2, Total War Warhammer 3, Total War Warhammer 2, Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide, Warhammer 40,000 Rogue Trader, 45 games in the Warhammer 40k tag. Let's see what else for Warhammer 40k Warp Forge. Warhammer 40k Dark Tide, Warhammer Space Marine Anniversary Edition, Warhammer 40k Bolt Gun, Warhammer 40k Gladius. Relics of War, Warhammer 40k Battle Sector, Warhammer 40k Dawn of War Game of the Year Edition, Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Prophecy, Warhammer 40k Dawn of War 3, Warhammer, that's, that's not 40k, so I'm going to ignore that one, Warhammer 40k, the car, Warp Forge, the card game, Warhammer 40k Speed Freaks, Warhammer the Horus Heresy, Legions, Warhammer 40k, Age of Sigmar, Tempest Fall, Warhammer 40k, Battle Sister, Warhammer 40k, Chaos Gate, Daemon Hunters, Warhammer 40k, Warp Forge, Sora Rita, Starter Bundle, Warhammer 40k, Mechanicus, Warhammer 40k, Shooters, Blood and Teeth, Warhammer 40k, Dawn of War, Dash, Soulstorm, Warhammer Combat Cards, Battlefleet, Gothic Armada, Space Marines, Warhammer 40k, Warhammer 40k, Rogue Trader, Void Shadows, Warhammer 40k, Battle Sector Tiao. Warhammer 40k, Battle Sector Blood Angels Elites. Warhammer 40k, Gladius Adeptus Mechanicus. Warhammer 40k, Battle Sector. Necromunda, Hired Gun, a game in the Warhammer 40k universe. Necromunda, Underhive Wars. Warhammer 40k, Battlefield Gothic Armada 2 Chaos Campaign X Warhammer 40k Gladius Chaos Space Marines. Dude, it totally works. We're Warhammer 40k guys. Of course we play Battlefield Gothic Armada 2 the Chaos Campaign expansion. Warhammer 40 We're Warhammer 40k guys. Of course we buy Warhammer 40k DACA Squadron Flyboys Edition. We're Warhammer 40k guys. Of course we buy Warhammer Horus Heresy Legion Space Wolves bundle. We're Warhammer 40k guys. Of course we got Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr Hierophant class. We're Warhammer 40k guys. Of course we got Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate Demon Hunters Execution Force. Shouldn't they be on like 41k by now? It's just like it's it's just too much. Anyway, I hope the game's good. It seems like you guys don't have a whole lot of choice. It's the first Warhammer 40k game that's ever come out, so I'm looking for you. They did Warhammer 39k? You believe it's the year 1999, when in fact, it's actually closer to 2199. So this was the first Space Marine 2 game is what I'm hearing? 
You're telling me this for the first time. This is the first I've heard of it. Well, it was an amazing franchise. It lived an incredible life. Fuck this, bro. I'm getting you block origin. What happened? Can I, can I ask? Is there like a, a, the one video essay I want to see? What the fuck happened to Adblock Plus? This is like a cipher on the Nebuchadnezzar situation. Adblock Plus got taken out to dinner and said, I don't want a memory. I don't want to remember anything. I know that when I eat this steak, the matrix is just telling my brain that this is good beef. You know what I learned after eight years on that tin can? Ignorance is bliss. Anybody got any recommendations? You block origin? I just want to make sure I'm not accidentally installing like a, a fishing one because um, this one only has 30.8 thousand ratings, which makes me think that like this is a fake one. Origin got banned? What happened to Origin, man? It's just a joke. Have you tried making it funny? Did you see the guy that drops the street view in random places and decides if they're shitty and he landed in Baltimore and it was all shitty? Not shitty. I'm calling it now. We're actually going to do five drops in Baltimore next time and see if we can find something not shitty. Yeah, it's shitty. Bro, it's shitty. Don't walk around out here at nighttime, huh? That's crazy. It's a pretty big city, too. Bro, it's shitty. Wow, we're at three out of five right now, bro. If we get two more, this is going to be a record. I, I hope y'all ain't doing it like that. Bro. No. I swear, that's a spot on The Wire, isn't it? That TV show, y'all seen The Wire? Bro, the, the car ain't got no... Oh, no. It's shitty. All right, let's let's try one more. Let, let's go to the other side and see see if what it's like over here, bro. No sir, nah, bro. I ain't trying to go there. Does this car have rims on it? At least it does. Nah, bro, it's shitty. Um, yeah, but honestly, when I saw it, I I think he was putting on airs a little bit. I'm not saying Baltimore doesn't have like some, uh sketchy areas i've never been there but i think there was like this the third or the fourth one he was like it, it looked fine to me and he was like it's shitty i was like listen here motherfucker why don't you show me where you live because i i'm sick of this like poverty tourism because I, I live in a city that's like that too where everybody that goes on the cruises stays in like gas town and then they walk out see outside and see one dude passed out on the street and well i mean it's actually kind of rough down there but they go what the hell's going on down here like i don't like that this dude is sitting in like nashville tennessee in some house that looks like it's straight out of a magazine probably and he's dropping himself in the street view and being like whoa look at this look at this guy wearing a tank top it's shitty there was one where the car had no tires, for sure, but I'm not saying, like, I want to live in a couple of the places that he randomly dropped in on Street View. I'm just saying, I don't think that was a 5 for 5 shitty. I think it was a 4 for 5 shitty. Oh, the, the TikTok uh, Google Maps users don't like me. That's okay. I'll keep watching that shit anyway. The Poke Doku ads are starting to piss me off, though. Listen, <laughs> I understand the hypocrisy, Okay. I have video ads on my videos, but like I make videos, so it makes sense to have video ads. When I go to your web 2.0 website and it like a little, some shit goes boop and it like pops out like this, that pisses me off because I'm like, you're not a video. You're a fucking, you're a website, man. Hey, I don't know what happened to my camera too. What happened to installing uBlock Origin? People told me if I installed it on Chrome, I'd get uh, my Google account banned. So I said, nah, not worried about it. <laughs> using the internet without Adblock is crazy. That's not true. I'm using Adblock. It's just my Adblock was Cypher, dude. 
My ad block stepped up and, and said it, it, it defected to the side of the agents and sold out Morpheus, man. I know what you're thinking. Why, oh, why didn't I take the blue pill? I'm just saying, chat, once you get your computer fully set up, once your audio is in stereo, once you have the perfect Google Chrome extensions, what do you do after that? Because then it's time to develop a real personality, okay? That's where things really get hard. Once you've got the, the perfect r slash battle stations post to, to go viral, it's never perfect. Excuses. I understand. Then you go outside. <laughs> I believe it when I see it. Normal flying. Pidgeot. So it's kind of like Sephiroth, man. It's like the Sephiroth of birds, given the hair. Grass flying. Am I, who's the, who's the dude, he's, uh, Toasty, are you here? He's a green Pokemon, or like maybe a pink Pokemon, and he's got leaf propeller blades. What's that guy's name? Hopeep. That's him right there, Hopeep, thank you. Yes! See, this is what pisses me off, because if my logic was always wrong, then I could live with that. You know, if my, like the Swablu, he's a cloud and he flies. How is that not flying water? People are like, Pokemon types don't really work like that. Okay, well this motherfucker has grass helicopter blades and guess what? He's a fucking flying grass. So, so make up your mind. All I'm asking for is some fucking consistency, okay? Holy cow, Gretzky versus Block in the Ultra Hole Challenge presented by Michelob Ultra? I gotta see that, man. Hey, uh, info request. Who the hell is Block? I have no idea who that is. He's a Polish golfer. <laughs> Speaking of Blocks, you see the Minecraft trailer? Who are you? I am Steve. It's gonna go crazy for kids who are like six years and younger. I, so I've been out here defending Jack Black because I feel like he made a misstep with the Kyle Gass stuff, but he's got, you know, like a 30-year career in Hollywood of being a pretty affable guy. So I was willing to give him like, I was going to say that that one took away one of his spirit hearts, but otherwise his HP looks okay to me. Like it looks like he could still beat the run. Um, but seeing him pop out of the portal in Minecraft and say like, my name is Steve. I was kind of like, maybe he's, maybe he has washed it or been washed by it, I should say. Hey, Ghost Pepper, Ghost Pepper, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. I don't know, I'm gonna, gonna give him a chance. He's still been in great stuff. Bernie, see like, what is this? This craft dinner ad, we got a Poke Doku. Listen, I make 45 minute video. I put two ads in it. I don't know how long they are. Sometimes you get like the Mormon ads that are like 23 minutes long, but at least there's a skip button. I've been on your website for like four minutes. This is like the seventh ad that I've, that I've gotten. It's just, I'm just asking for a little bit of it. See, like it's just, you want me to sign up at stake.com to bet on the United States election 2024? Have you lost? This is your, your, it's part of the moral decay of society, man. This is crazy. Do you see the tweet from the guy that was like, Here's my 16-way parlay to pay for my wedding and my house. And it was a 76-cent bet that paid out $250,000 if it hit. And then somebody replied, like, I would have taken a different bet for the Bears and Titans game. But otherwise, it actually looks pretty good. The fuck you mean it looks pretty good? It's like a 1 in 35 million chance to hit, man. What do you mean it looks good? <laughs> you lost your mind? Anyway, sorry, sorry. Psychic flying uh, doesn't exist. Grass Kanto, you know, let's keep it simple. Give me a Bell Sprout. I like Bell Sprout is kind of swagged up, right? Dude, you, I never realized it kind of looks like Bell Sprout is hitting the orange justice, right? He's got like the Roy Purdy knees going on. Now I want to see like, uh, I want to see Bell Sprout hitting the orange justice on like a GIF or something. He, may, he might have inspired the Orange Justice with that kind of footwork. It's also Pokemon number 69. I love that, man. I love that. Okay, what is Kalos? I've never heard of this before in my life. X and Y. That's bad. How about um, Venusaur Mega? 
How about Venusaur G-Max? <laughs> X and Y doesn't have the... That's considered Gen 1? It's not Gen 1 if they can't go G-Max in Kanto! If they can only go G-Max when they go to Kalos... Then it the I agree. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. He's right. He's cooking. I got the people on my side. When you don't have people on your side, you you you, you very mindful, very demure. When you don't have people on your side, that's when you go angry. Now, psychic flying doesn't exist. On la well, no, 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 it exists. It exists. Um, one of these, one of those motherfuckers. You're purple. Don't don't start with me, okay? You're flying and you're purple. That's psychic. What about like the feminine version? Mm, it's got more of like an ice type going on. You really? Oh no 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 no! I can do this. Oh no! I'm thinking of fairy. I'm thinking of toge kiss. Toge kiss, the kiss is on your lips. A toge kiss, if played, would be a miss. Cause toge kiss is on your lips. Of the psychics that fly, the toge kiss kick. Okay, I don't, I don't know, I don't know the answer to this one. I gotta think. Carlos, Carl, Vladimir, Carlos, psychic, Vladimir, Carlos, psychic. Most common chespin. So let me. Why is this motherfucker grass? And you can't say because he's got a green hat on. Because that would make you a hypocrite, apparently, and the enemy of South American preteens the world over. Do not tell him. No, he's not an acorn. He's not a chestnut. He is clearly like an otter of some sort, okay? It's because he's got a green hat. Yep, you're right. There you go. It's because he's got a green hat. Fru fru. <laughs> that fur fru lame shit. I ain't with it. I'll take a shot at your ditto. Gratata. I don't really know Gorgeist Average. I'm a different kind of beast. Do you listen to Netspend? Uh, did you see that FaZe Banks was glazing Netspend with a gyat behind him? I can't, man. I can't. Did you see 20 GeoGuessr pros go uh, Hawaii on Idaho, man? Is this maybe a silence, dude? Maybe that doesn't really make sense. But let's, let's play it. This is... Uh, is uh, this looks too widescreen to be vertical limit, and also, yeah, I wouldn't expect it to be in there. Isn't there a movie called Everest? Maybe they were climbing, yeah, they were climbing Mount Everest. Look at that. I mean, if you didn't get it on, like, one of the, <laughs> it looks like he's touching the tip of a, of a dude's erection. That's so funny. It's actually also so funny. Like, I know his, uh, Helly Hansen is, like, a serious outdoor brand. But, like, it's funny that this dude's rocking this shit at the peak of Mount Everest when I also see motherfuckers rocking this fit at, like, the Pacific Center in the middle of August. That's a mall in downtown Vancouver. Like, this, to me, it's like he was putting, like, a Canada goose jacket on or something to climb Mount Everest. I thought maybe it would be a little bit more hardcore than that, but you need to get off Twitter? Well, this is some shit I saw in real life, man. When are you climbing Mount Everest? Like never, because like 15% of people who attempt it die on the mountain or something like that in like a horrific way. And also, I just don't have any interest in it, I guess. <laughs> what if there was a bike route? Maybe. It looks a little bit uphill, but... Brother, where's the Slay the Spire videos? Listen, you might think that when I finish the stream, I log off and it's like Slay the Spire time. We're in the weeds right now. My daughter starts school this week. The irony is I'm in school more than she is because I got to show up to all these meetings that are like, you know, here's how to send your daughter to school. And then she goes to school. She does for like 80 minutes for the first couple of weeks. They literally go there, eat like uh, ants on a log and then come home. And they're telling us shit in the <laughs> meetings that's like, make sure your daughter like has a nap after school because she's going to be tired. And I was like, I didn't do anything. Someone else read them a story. They ran around with their friends and then they ate a snack and came home, man. I'm not backseating my daughter. I'm just saying we're busy right now. Playing a game for 40 minutes must tire you out. It's, you're, you're so far out of the reality, you don't even know what you're criticizing. There is no 40 minutes, man. I need the eye of Agamotto to create that time. I need, I need to fucking freeze time. 
I know what you would do when you freeze time, you pervert. You know what I would do? I would probably record like seven Slay the Spire episodes so that I could put those up in the week. And then you guys would have to come up with a different comment. Otherwise, instead of where's the Slay the Spire content, you'd have to find something else to piss you off. Probably some rage bait you saw on Twitter that, you know, was designed for you to fall for it. Where's the sap content? Now that. <laughs> One day they'll make a sap too, okay? OGC? Hell yeah, brother. You see the tweet that was like, I don't like that no fap guys and gooners both take heat on the internet because that implies that there's an appropriate amount of jerking that you should be doing. I thought that was an astute observation. Not that it's wrong, but also I was like, I never thought about that. That's like, that's one of those jokes that you're like, I could have thought of that. And that's why it's funny. They're not sending their best for advertisements, are they? Add by blank. Click here for more information. See more. <laughs> if you click on that, you're cooked. You're not going to make it. <laughs> you got to. The ads are, it's too much, man. <laughs> it's too much. Multivitamins and mocktails? Do you know who I am? Is this an ad for, you worried about inflation, get active? Is it an ad for investing or a probiotic, man? I don't know. It's too much. I keep clicking the X, but it won't go away. New Line Cinema, 1991. Starring Brian Tochi. It's a science fiction adventure action comedy family open to $20 million back by bodacious demand. Bill and Ted too? Isn't that where they say bodacious? Paige Turco? Robbie Rist? Michael Pressman? The t oh, <laughs> Teenage, it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze, man. It turns out I don't know anybody that was in this fucking movie except for Vanilla Ice. I only know Go Ninja, Go Ninja, Go. Oh, and Sam Rockwell. Sam Rockwell's in it as like a skateboarder, right? And Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash. 78 milli. Bodacious. They say, if they said like tubular, I might have gotten it. But... Orion Pictures, 80 million, week six with a minimal fall off, starring Jodie Foster, Silence of the Motherfucking Lambs. This is actually, no, not Silence of the Hams, not Silence of the Labs. Let me make this my recommendation. I'm sure lots of people have seen Silence of the Lambs, but if this is one of those movies that you've never seen, but you've always heard about, but you're like, I'm going to watch like Big Hero 6 or something instead, because like that's not as old as Silence of the Lambs, you should watch Silence of the Lambs. It's a great movie. Awesome thriller. I know you feel like you've probably seen it because it's been referenced in like a lot of stuff, but it's an amazing movie. Anthony Hopkins goes crazy and it's got, it's kind of like, it's a, it's a taut thriller, but it's also got some kind of like heat Michael Mann-esque type moments. Like there's some big set pieces and there's some quiet simmering. It's, uh, yeah, I would say it's better than Sing 2 for sure. Sing 1, I don't know, but I'd have to, plus it has a, uh, Q Lazarus' uh, best song, Goodbye Horses. Sorry, I know the name. I was trying to think of the Sea of Mowany, Go Falling Down. Goodbye Horse. It's a great song. Not on the Peloton playlist, though. Wesley Snipes. I mean, the easy guess here would be This is White Men Can't Jump. It's the right era. I remember, see I've never seen the movie, but I've seen the. VHS copy in the local video store before they all got rolled up into Blockbuster and then went out of business. Also starring Ice T. This one's going to be a problem. They're a new breed of gangster, the new public enemy, the new family of crime. A gangster Nino is in the Cash Money Brothers, making a million dollars every week selling crack. A cop, Scotty, discovers the only way to infiltrate the gang is to become a dealer himself. I'm not that familiar with the works of Mario Von Peebles. I'm familiar with um, Badass. I'm not familiar with the rest. This is New Jack City. Oh, strictly hardcore tracks. Not a New Jack swing. That's the one where he, Wesley Snipes cries while shooting. Dude, me when I have to kill Tony Hawk during the race war. This shit looks like WarioWare, man.
Metacritic score of 62. Concord? I'm, jo I'm joking. I'm joking. This looks like a, a Super Mario game on the GBA. Super Mario Advance? Yoshi's Island Super Mario Advance 3? It is the right franchise? It's Pinball. Mario Pinball. Mario Pinball Land. There it is. Mario Pinball Land. 62, huh? I know this one, by the way. Hang on. First, I got to wait for 17 ads to load. This is Rogue Legacy, bro. Let me scroll down below the video player. That's Rogue Legacy, like 100%. That's a given. Did all... I guess you know what it is. Maybe we're witnessing this is the cipher moment for uh, Adblock Plus. They must have sold out Morpheus's position to uh, the agents like literally overnight because like it was kind of creeping up a little bit like it was a little it was getting a little sus and now it's like every single website is overloaded. Nobody knows what you mean when you say cipher. You got to watch the Matrix, okay? Cypher is the member of the Nebuchadnezzar that betrays the other members of the Nebuchadnezzar to get put back in the Matrix. And then he says, I don't believe it. And Tank goes, believe it or not, you son of a bitch, you're still going to burn. And he hits him with like the arc gun. That it appears just like melts your stomach, but otherwise leaves you feeling like, okay. Yeah, that's Joey Pantoliano, man. He is bald with a soul patch too. Brother, the ads, it's, it's just too much. It's just too, the, at some point, don't the advertisers get mad? They're like, there's too many ads on the page. So our ad isn't really getting like, <laughs> like it's not getting spotlighted. This looks like watchdogs, man. I'm insane. It's crazy that like in 2014, I played like two hours of Watch Dogs for a video and I was like, I guess it's pretty good. Like it's a little mid. And then when the video was done, I was like, yeah, I'll beat that shit. I didn't have anything to do, man. I beat fucking Far Cry 4 that year, Dragon Age Origins. Like my ass was gaming. I wasn't even really like enjoying it that much. I, I enjoyed being like, I beat that game, but I didn't really enjoy playing through the whole thing that much. It was good for its time. Have we hit like um, revisionist history for 2014? Like Watch Dogs was like, a, that it was pre, they use your fucking pronouns. It was pre that, but it inspired a lot of gamer rage. Because the E3 presentation that they did for it was like, you could use your phone to hack the ATM. It caused a run on the bank that causes the city to react dynamically. And then you'll, it'll affect the, et cetera, et cetera. And then when it came out, it was like a third person action game where you could like press a button to like phone somebody. And people were like, what the fuck? It was okay. But it was like, at the end of the day, it was pretty much just like a third person shooter. They made three of these? One of them came out in 2020. This is my saddest day of middle school. <laughs> I was like fucking 26 or something, man. Oh, man. I played Infamous 2. What was I doing, man? I should have been, I should have been at the tennis courts. Slogging my way through Infamous 2. To, to see the incredible processing power of the PlayStation 4 on my 32-inch flat screen TV. Like, what was wrong with me? It was great. Yeah, but I wasn't 13. I was like 26 or 27, man. I should have been doing something. Anyway, it's, all, it's all right. I should, have been, I should have been playing Slay the Spire or something anyway. Should have been playing Dwarf Fortress, if anything. Oh! <laughs> Getting over it with Benjamin Foddy. Of course, a side-scrolling comedy game. It makes perfect sense. Mid-game, wrong. Great game. Sorry, there's no watchdogs. Game was okay. They really could have tightened up the graphics a little bit. Great game if you're getting paid to play it. It's the blueprint for streamer bait. 
yeah, those games are fun, man. Games where like you feel a little bit of misery in a controlled environment. What are you fucking scared of your feelings? You know what feeling you should be scared of? Boredom, monotony, 70 hours of there's an enemy outpost. You dynamically choose how to solve. You could, you could use your creativity to solve the enemy outpost, outpost in multiple ways. You can either use a submachine gun or an assault rifle. You can use up to two grenades. Fuck you. You can pick every blade of grass, and with 900 blades of grass, you can reinforce the handle of your two-headed pickaxe and get a plus 1% mining speed. That's not fucking real. That's not real. Getting over it, that's real. Okay? That's real. A difficult game about climbing, that's real. This looks delicious. This is like high-class Lunchables. Ham, cheese, puff pastry, egg wash, and sugar. Layer puff pastry with a spread of mayonnaise. Mustard and shredded cheese. Add slices of ham and more cheese on top. You can call me basic if you want. I would eat this shit for sure. I have to imagine that it might be from France. That's ice cold, bro. It's southwest of France and quite far. Brazil? Borders Argentina? Jesuita. That looks fucking tasty, man. Who knew that they invented Lunchables in Uruguay? Catholic Lunchables? This is like a... It's a dosa, kind of. That's more like the dosa I'm familiar with. Or like a, maybe this is a roti or something. Either way, I think it's from India. That's kati roll. All right. Looks tasty. Don't get me wrong. Looks tasty. That, on the other hand, beef innards bile, garlic, onion, <laughs> ginger, water, salt, fish sauce, and black pepper. Bile? Boil beef innards until tender. This is some shit they were cooking in like the, the Urukai were making this shit at Saruman's Tower. I have to say, because there's fish sauce, I'm going to assume it's from Southeast Asia. Hello, honey. How are you? Okay. I heard you were so excited for school that you couldn't concentrate on uh, your class today. That's okay. Give me a high five. Thank you for trying anyway. Were you hanging out with mommy? Uh, mommy's working. Mommy's working? What's she working on? Some games. Was it um, was it the card game or was it? Uh, well, I don't think Deadlock is open yet. I don't know. Games is playing this. Probably was there like uh, lots of numbers popping up on the screen? Um, I just didn't see. You didn't see, bro? I'm actually doing work. Okay, okay. I'm just. <laughs> Oh, careful, careful. You want to sit on me? Okay. Come here. We need to move it. I know. I'll, I'll move it. But first, I got to not run over your foot, okay? There you go. Here we go. So I'm just going to, I'm going to bring it back like this. And I'm going to turn this off for now. Does this look good? Okay. Would, would you eat this? No. I don't think I would eat this either. It's from a country that's close to Thailand. Maybe Indonesia? Mm, maybe the Philippines? This is pina python. A traditional Filipino dish chiefly associated with the Yokano region in the northern Philippines. Yeah. It's derived from the word pate, which means bitter. Bitter? Yeah. That's not the best flavor. What's your favorite kind of taste? Salty. Salty? And sweet. And sweet. I, I thought for sure you were going to say sweet. Because I know, like, what's the best part of dinner for you? Pasta. Well, yeah, but what do you, what do you eat after pasta? Ice cream. Yeah, exactly. Hey, why, don't smack my arm. Poke. You're poking my leg? Yeah, poke. Madness imprisoning me. Poking my leg. Absolute savings. Okay, watch this. 
Nobody can see you poking me in the face right now. I turned off the camera. Bam, 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 bam. Ridley Scott Sigourney Weaver. That's a tough one. I'm going to say Alien. What Alien? Alien. What Alien? The Claw. <laughs> Ridley Scott, one word title. Boom. Napoleon. That is a tough ass answer. Ridley Scott, 85 to 94? <laughs> Shouldn't say the A word, I guess. You need to guess what's it. I, I can't think of it right now, but James Cameron, 85 to 94, that's a gimme. Gimme the abyss. The abyss. James Cameron, Sigourney Weaver. Gimme Avatar 2, The Way of Water. Well, here's, here's the meta play Ghostbusters. That's from 1979. All right, believe it or not, I was not alive then. Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 2. Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters. You know, go, the way, sing the Ghostbusters song. Nah. Ew. If there's something strange in your neighborhood, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Yeah, an invisible man sleeping in your bed. Ow. Let me tell you something. Boston makes me feel good. They are trying to defeat the ghosts and save New York City from the ravages of Vigo, the living painting. That's how it is. It's a pretty good movie. Apparently, I watched it all the time when I was a kid. In Ghostbusters 11, the ghost is free? Yes. Try again. I got an H, though. That's pretty good. Let's go to Thrice. I got some trivia questions for you, honey. What? Ready? A gymnastics team and a bulldog with a distinctive haircut solve mysteries. So went a dumb 80s cartoon starring what tough guy? Mr. T. He's a genius. The more you eat, the more you want. So went an old slogan for what sweet and salty snack brand? That's funny. Cracker Jack. Oh, I'm insane, man. I'm insane. Used to be you get a real toy, something metal like a tin whistle. Now you get a picture of a freaking snake. You're a genius. Thank you. That's so nice to hear for the first time ever. At Montreal's Expo 67, who famously shouted, Vive le Quebec Libre? Uh, René Lévesque. What if I told you he was the president of France? Charles de Gaulle? Is Charles de Gaulle my mistake? My mistake. Fake Canadian? I'm a real Canadian. I guess the Canadian person instead of a French person. You're a genius. Thank you. According to Ben Franklin, he who lives upon blank will die fasting. He who lives upon... He who lives upon... He who lives upon greed. Who, he who lives upon money. Ooh. According to Emily Dickinson, what feeling is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul? Happiness. Happy. What sp hope springs eternal in the human breast? Hope. That's a good score, though. 12 points is pretty good. I got 12. It's 3, 3, 2, 3, 1. 3, 3, 2, 3, 1. You're absolutely right. That does equal 12, although I, I'm not sure that you did the math on that one. I think you might have just been looking at the page. Stop hitting me! <laughs> okay. You should go up and see Mommy now. You need to pick me up. I can pick you up, but I'm going to put you right back down, okay? Okay. You need to go see Mommy. And make sure Mommy uh, feeds you lunch before you go, okay? What did we just play? We just played thrice. Thrice gives way to disorderly. Sort these Pixar movie characters in order of their debut, starting with the latest. Okay. 
Hang on, I've got to figure out how to stream again. Where's the button that turns everything on? Okay, James P. Sullivan is from Monsters, Inc., 2001. Alfredo Linguini is from Ratatouille, 07. Lots of Huggin' Bear is from Toy Story 3, 2010. Bing Bong is from Inside Out, 2016. Carl Fredrickson is from Up, 2008. Andy Davis, in the bedroom of young Andy Davis. This is Toy Story. It's the easiest disorderly that's ever existed. He's the kid that owns the toys, just in case you were not aware. <laughs> How'd you know his last name is Davis? So my daughter listens to the Toy Story, uh, like, bedtime story. Well, she doesn't listen to it anymore, but she listened to it, like, um, for a year straight, basically. And it starts with, in the bedroom of young Andy Davis. Toy Story 3 is 14 years old. Yep. You must be taking the same math classes as my daughter. You're kind of cracked. What's crazy is that it probably came out when you were 8. That she came out when I was, like, 21. And you're like, oh, time flies. You don't even know, brother. Oh, a movie that I saw in theaters is having its 10-year anniversary this year. Oh, crumbles into dust. Your ass can't even, like, buy beer yet. Get over it. You got a long way to go. <laughs> you got a long way to go, Jerry. You do. Actually, for one of the sponsor streams, I had to look at my demographic data, including, like, uh, I didn't know YouTube even spit this stuff out. The last time I looked at YouTube analytics, it was like, here's the ages of your average viewer and here's the gender of them that's it they were i was going i was exporting xls's and csvs average demo for nl 26 to 30 that's up there for youtube standards but then i was so excited to click on the gender breakdown because it used to be like 91 male 9 female and I was like, I kind of had a glow up since then. And my content has become a little bit more like it crosses the aisle of, of gender, I would say. 94.6 male, 5.4 female. Fuck, dude. <laughs> it's, dude, I don't know. Lads, lads. <laughs> oof, oof, oof. Here we go. Chibli, this one's for you. I didn't know that this was going to be it before I said it, okay? Pick five countries that export the most ground nut oil. <laughs> I would assume that China is up there, because they often are. Germany is almost always up there. Okay, nuts. Peanuts. United States of America. Jimmy Carter. I'm getting my ass beat today. Nuts. South Africa. Wow. Wow, this is embarrassing. Brazil. Oh! <laughs> oh. Brazil, number one. Senegal. Nicaragua. People aren't ex exporting shit for ground nut oil, huh? I thought this would be like a, like a three, four billion dollar industry or something. They're not even, they might not even cross a billy. Hole in the market? That's damn true. We need, dude, <laughs> we already have uh, gamer subs. We need like gamer cooking oil. Anime girl thighs, peanut oil dipped in. Yeah, we need gamer nut oil, man. No doubt about it. None of those seed oils, though, or whatever. I don't know. I'm probably eating a bunch of them. I never know. Are olives a seed oil? Avocados? They got seeds in them. Sesame? That seems like a seed oil. I don't know. I'd be eating the shit out of the sesame oil, especially at Heidi Lau. I'd be eating a lot of vegetable oil. As well. I might only eat seed oils, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> and I'm loving every minute of it, Jerry. I'm loving every minute of it, I think. All right, Chibli, this one's really for you. This is Fishtel. It's how <laughs> they describe it. It's the game that's like Wordle for fish. But it's not really like Wordle at all. You just either know it or you don't. You don't get like any hints at all. I mean, you could get like a letter or something, but you don't get any like information. 
Kayak angler towed 11 miles in life and death battle with Marlin. Yeah, of course it's a life and death battle, man. If you catch it, you're going to eat it. I love fishing clickbait. Holy cow. Is this a fish called a crappy? Or is that a Canadianism? Oh, I almost fell backwards out of my chair, dude. I thought this is just what my grandfather called this fish. That's crazy. I, I thought for sure this was like a rural Canadianism. 12-year-old smashes record with 119-pound white marlin. Bullshit. He had a motor. He had a motor in his reel. What's the one that people wanted, or that one person wanted me to play? It was called like Recipal. Recipal.net. Guess the ingredients. Oxtail with broad beans. Oxtail. Broad beans. Okay, that's a big one. Um, it looks like there might be onion in there and spring onion. We take those. <sighs> to me, it looks like there's potato or sweet potato. Sweet potato. Fuck you. Sh give me a hint. Where the, where the hell is the hint? Oh, it, the image gets like broader. I see rosemary. It would... Oh, oh, sorry. That's my mistake, dumbass. That's time. I see carrots. What are you talking about? That's a carrot, dude. I see fucking shishito peppers or something. Peppers. Oh, my God. Stock? Chicken stock? Broth? 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 Stock? Hit, reveal hint. Garlic. <laughs> Cumin. Oh my god. Salt. Pepper. Potato. Did I not put potato? Potato. Fuck, dude. What the hell is this? Radish? Soy sauce. Oyster sauce. Water. Corn flour. Ginger. Scotch bonnet peppers and vegetable oil. Jamaican beef. <laughs> water. Okay, apparently salt and pepper aren't okay, but water's okay. That was, I'll add that, I'll add that. 2007 with 581 million views. This is like uh, the 10 things I hate about you by Miley Cyrus. Seven things I hate about you. Skip me. Fake Ramones. Ah, it's, um, The Strokes, uh, Reptilia. No, no, wait, it's, it's uh, uh, The Pretender by the Foo Fighters. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, so it, it sounded like Reptilia, man. Seem impressed by the way you came in. Tell us your story. I know you're not boring. The not at all. Not even slightly. Honestly, you might be ear blind. You might want to see an audiologist for that. Also, you got to keep in mind, I stopped listening to the Foo Fighters in like 2002 because that's when I developed my own independent musical tastes and, you know, shrugged off the yolk of rock radio. Like in 2007, let me see, what was I listening to in 2007? I was listening to a shitload of Sound of Silver and Joanna Newsom's East this year, okay? I was, I was balling out the East. I was not fucking that much with, I was excited for We Were Dead before the ship even sank. And then when it came out, I was like, they're cooked, they're cooked. They've gone mainstream, people. We were not listening to Wincing the Night Away. We were listening to a lot of Sound of Silver in 07, for sure. Person pitched me. Is that an 07? 
Goodness is having courage, the courage to do what's right. Good time, good time, good time. I know what you're talking. Islands? I was more of an 05 for me. I was fucking with, well, maybe it was 06, but I was fucking with, um, with Rough Gem and um, Don't Worry Whitney Bobby or whatever it's called. I was fucking with Islands. I was fucking with the Unicorns. That was back in the day, though. You never experienced peak My Chemical Romance? Yes, by choice. By choice, people. By choice. Got to I like I wasn't there. I got to imagine that song hits like crazy like right before your Little League World Series game. You don't realize that fucking Team Florida is also listening to the same song. <laughs> this is my pop-up song. <laughs> you guys ever found like a good cure for hunger? I'm always like eating and then I'm hungry. Food? I tried that. It doesn't work. Gotta eat too fucking much, man. Shit's getting expensive. I'm self-conscious about how much rotisserie chicken I'm eating. But I'm like, it's, I'm not eating it for sport, man. I'm fucking hungry. Did you hear my tummy? Like, I'm, the three minutes into the stream, it was like... You got any healthy fat in the overnight oats? Bro, I got the fucking skier in there. I got... Uh, Peanut butter in there. I got, uh, I don't know. I guess almond milk isn't really milk. But yeah, it's got, there's healthy fats in there, man. Any carbs in there? What the fuck do you think oats are, man? Skier is fat free? What the fuck are you talking about? It's congealed milk. What are you, what are you saying, man? How could this shit be fat free? It's, it's milk. Some is 0%. I'm not buying that shit. Skier has very little fat. You're going to make me go up to my fucking fridge. By the way, there's a tablespoon of peanut butter in this bitch, so I'm not sweating it. That's like... Pfft. Let me see here. Thank, thank you for the link. Unflavored skier has 13 grams of protein, 4 grams of carbohydrates, and 0.2 grams of fat per 100 grams. This doesn't check out. That's only 17.2 grams of macros out of 100 grams of food. What the fuck is the other 83 grams? 83 grams of medium? Like, what is it? Water? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Maybe you're right. Maybe the skier is too low fat. I thought because it was, I guess it's skim milk. But like, how many fucking whole milks do you need to get the skim fucking, I don't really know how milk works anyway. Yeah, maybe I need to... But the shit pisses me off. Like, I'm not trying to say, like, I'm not like the other girls. But I'm always, like... I, I want, like, the opposite of what they have a shit ton of in the grocery store. Like, I know that this is my own cross to bear. But, like, in the grocery store, everything is, like, low carb. Here's low, here's low carb sugar. Here's half salt. Salt. We can reduce sodium more than salt, right? Like... This not, I, don't, I don't want that. Could you give me like a slightly higher carb version of this food that was supposed to be 100% carbs? They are trying to sell nothing. We need, we need a, a, a reverse health and wellness trend a little bit. I'm not talking about food that's bad for you, but I'm instead of like, you know, low carb pasta, how about like we put some extra semolina in this bitch? Like, how about some high-carb pasta? I need the carbs, man. I'm going to be drinking straight Calpico on the bike pretty soon. Anyway. Um, what the fuck is low-carb pasta? You don't know what the world has done to us, man. We got motherfuckers that pastas. Oh, I want to eat pasta, but I wish it tasted shitty. What if you boiled some cauliflower, put it in a blender, turned it into cauliflower flour, and then shaped that shit into some noodles and then poured like some keto marinara on top of it yum brother it's not that hard just get on the bike for 90 minutes a day <laughs> just fucking get up to three watts per kilogram and send her bud 
Get some parasocial fans on your ass that uh, are just begging to type, what happened on the ride today? I don't usually beat you. I didn't think I had it in me. Good ride, though. Get some people on your fucking, that didn't even ask to draft you, bumping up against your rear tire to give you some motivation and get the legs pumping. I just got to eat more rotisserie chickens, I think, man. Thoughts on Scotty Scheffler earning $12,000 every time he hit a golf ball this year? Uh, isn't he having like the greatest golf season in the, of the 21st century or something? I don't even watch golf, but every time I see a tournament happen, it's like three days of drama and then Scotty Scheffler wins. He won the gold medal of the Olympics too. Apparently he's pretty good at golf. He also got arrested and he had a kid. Dude, that's, he's going to fucking score so high on those like sin tests that get posted on Twitter. What's your score? Kiss somebody, one. Tongue kiss somebody, two. Fell asleep on the couch, five. Murdered somebody, 12. His score, his score is going to be like a billion, man. Win the Masters. Win a gold medal in the Olympics. <laughs> you know, uh, whenever like I see someone tweet those purity tests or whatever, and they're like 19, I'm like, that's like they're right. Whenever I see someone post like, Picky eater test. My score was 14. And I'm like, bro, you're 42 years old. A, like, why are you sharing this stuff? And B, like, what the fuck you mean you don't eat broccoli? <laughs> you got to get your triglycerides checked, man. You're an old man, old man. Don't hit me with your cane, old man. Yeah, we can swear, like, under our breath now. We're back with tractical... <laughs> Nuts, man. No, we're not, dude. We're not back with tractical anything because that's not a real word. <laughs> it's not a real word. It's tactical breach wizards. We're approaching the end here. I've been having a good time. I think I am, I am ready for it to get to its conclusion, though. Um, but I've enjoyed myself, for sure. It's got me... It's got me fiending for XCOM as well. Now, I don't think I'm going to do an XCOM campaign on stream because I do think that for me and my life, that's sort of like, um, it's a bad business decision. But it is a great game. It's a great game. Two connections left to make. Reactor is planning a coup. Um, yeah, man. At the Chapel of the Closed Fist. That's a given. I mean, at the Chapel of the Civil Tongue. They're playing. Okay, wait, 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 wait. There's another one. Live sickness was caused by mana dust. That's a. For a guy like me, that's a given. They're planning a coup at the mana mine! Nope, okay, hang on. Unread, 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 unread. They're planning a coup at the chapel. They're planning a coup at. Rushwater PD? They wouldn't, man! Okay, they're planning a coup at the reactor black site. They're planning a coup, Is here's the thing, probably in Kalen. They're planning a, <laughs> at Ma's place? No! They're planning a coup for the mana dust. Nope, that's not gonna happen. It's not gonna go down like that. Probably right over there. In details unread, <laughs> I'm so sorry if anybody involved in the production of the game is watching this. It's not your fault, okay? It's not your fault. It's my fault. There's nothing wrong with, with what you've done, okay? There's something wrong with me. Did you see the trailer for Night Bitch? Yeah. I think they, they've struck a... Un, uh, it's not a tone that I resonate with. I get what this is. Uh, it's a story of female empowerment. Don't get me wrong, but at the same time, like I just feel like. Well, did you see the tweet that was like they needed your ghost Lanthimos for this? No, no, no. If you wake him up, I will rip your throat out. Okay, for what it's worth, I would kill to stay home with him every day. Mama, fuzzy. I'm not fuzzy. I just feel off. 
Look at my teeth. Mm. See how sharp they are? It's a little bit weird. Motherhood. It changes you. It connects you to some primal urges. Ah. I'm never going to be smart, happy, or thin ever again. Oh, and I'm pretty sure I'm turning into a dog. <laughs> You're so funny. I am a woman. I am an animal. I am night bitch. I feel the same way. It's kind of, it's almost a little too like Juno core or something like that from the trailer. But the, the other thing is that Amy Adams doesn't make too many mistakes. So I'm going to give Amy Adams a, a pass until she gives me a reason not to give her a pass. What about Hillbilly Elegy? How could she have known? <laughs> Enchanted 2? That was a good decision for her because it probably made her a lot of money. What about Batman versus Superman Dawn of Justice? Re refer again to the money argument. Here's the thing. Money talks, bullshit walks, people. It's the first thing you gotta know when you're dealing with a motherfucker like me. Yeah, of course I saw um, Hawk Tua's podcast. Y'all really thought I was done? I'm just getting started, baby. <laughs> I'm Haley Welch. A little while ago, my life took a complete left turn and it changed forever. And along the way, I've realized that everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Well, now it's my time to talk. Check out my podcast every week, Talk To Them, where I'm sitting down with the coolest guests and having actual conversations with them. I didn't see it, but I saw that it existed. It's called like Talk To Ya or something like that, right? She's like, I'm only just beginning to tell my story. And I'm like, have you told your story at all? Please stop. Also, you guys are being very rude. She's not called Hawk Tua, okay? She's called like Jennifer, Zennifer or something. Her name is not Hawk Tua. I don't know what her name is. You called her that? That's because somebody in chat called her Hawk Tua. Her name's not, her name's not Hawk Tua. It's probably something like, you know, Meredith or something like that. I don't know why everybody hates Hawk Tua. I mean, I have no like, I was gonna say I have no respect for her. I just mean, like, she, she has a, I don't know when she did, she was tweeting Elon, right? Saying, like, we need to, we need to push an update to Grok right away. All right, no, she's dead to me. Grok did her dirty, though. Did you see FaZe Banks was caught glazing, what's his name? <laughs> Chibli, can you help me out here? Did you see the 20 GeoGuessr pros went Hawaii on Idaho? Netspend, that's right. I couldn't believe that FaZe Banks glazed Netspend net spend with a yacht behind them. Crazy, man. The things people get up to these days. Sorry to the Concord gamers. I'm not falling victim to starting to get into gaming discourse. Like, the whole reason Concord is being shut down is because, like, eight people were playing it. And now, like, 250,000 people, all they want to talk about is, like, why Concord failed. Who cares, man? My ass ain't... It's like talking about the Borderlands movie. I don't want to talk about it because I... It's not interesting to me because the first time you saw the trailer, you're like, I don't care about this. It's interesting? Nah, man. Wikipedia article for Sandwich is interesting. Concord is just a... It's just a game. It's just a video game. They spend millions and eight years on it. It's funny as hell. Gamers are haters, man. It is kind of crazy to see that the PlayStation 5 actually lost one of its games. But like, I mean, I'm not rooting for Concord. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, <laughs> I just, I'm not rooting for its downfall. What do I care? I'm not doing the thing that's like, boy, you think of the people that made this. Like, that's self-evident. But like, you know, I just, I, I mean, I guess I just don't care. Amazon's game show is going to have an episode on Concord. You got to admit, that's pretty funny. I don't know, maybe I'm fucked up. I think like Dumb and Dumber is pretty funny. But I guess I'm kind of a, an idiot or something. But I think jokes are funny. I wasn't going to watch the Amazon Prime show to begin with. You know why? That's just on Amazon Prime. Holy cow. How can guard... I, I mean no disrespect by this. How many times have you asked me how many chickens do you think I've eaten in my whole life? I'm beginning to think you're like a PETA sleeper agent. I mean, I haven't killed any chickens in my life. But I have eaten some. I think it's like the, the same uh, mindset as salami is more vegetarian than like rotisserie chicken. Because like they killed the pig to make pork. But if you're eating salami, like the salami doesn't incur some extra karmic debt. <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? You get it? I don't know. I'm like a... I would say I'm a mindful consumer of meat, which means that I'm like... Most of the time I consume meat, I'm like... I probably shouldn't be doing this, but I am. For like... Mostly for convenience's sake, to be honest with you. I'm not anti-vegetarian by any... Uh, by any stretch. Don't pretend you care. I mean, I care. Like, I don't really... I'm kind of abstracted from the environmental effect, I guess, of meat. But I'm like, I don't want to see like living creatures killed for no reason when I could just be eating vegetables instead. Or, you know, like beans or whatever. But would you miss the flavor of meat? I don't know if I like think about food that way. I don't know how to explain it. Like maybe, but then I guess I would just like eat something else. <laughs> I don't know if that's weird or if that's like the most normal thing of all time. I might be like, oh, I miss like, you know, ribs. And then I'd be like, oh, shit, paneer or something, you know. You buying the Intel dip? You guys got me all, tw I don't know, wait, when did every 22 year old on the internet become an options trader? People are really like asking me questions about the Peloton Corporation. They're like, you think, they're, they're, I'm sorry, Funky Kong, but you didn't post an image of Funky Kong. You asked me a stock question, so I got to ask, okay? I got I to gotta, I gotta put you on blast a little bit. My TikTok editor said, I yearn for the Peloton. I replied with Jake S. Funky Kong Jorts replied, give it to me straight, doc. Do you think they're going to be around in five years? I don't fucking know, dude. I'm not in the books. I'm not their, their chief fucking finance officer, okay? What's the worst case scenario? They don't exist in five years. Your ass got healthy for no reason. Oh no. It's because I want to buy one, but I don't want it to go offline in four years. There's other ways to exercise if you're always looking for excuses, man. Like you could just go outside for a run. You don't need a Peloton. It's not the Peloton. It just gives your legs something to do. Now I gotta like, be, I, didn't, I never even recommended the Peloton to anybody. I'm just a living example of like how it can be a tool in your toolbox. And people are like, oh, how do you feel about the CFO's decision to fucking raise the price of used bikes? I feel fucking zilch about it. <laughs> it's not, I, I don't work for Peloton, man. Like take it up with Librarian. Librarian made the Peloton supercut, okay? I'm just merely existing. NL would be sick if he knew he inspired me to get an exercise bike, but I chose a competitor's produ product. What are you talking about, man? I'm excited. For, as long as it's not Zwift. We hate the Zwifters, but apart from that, we're, it's pretty chill. Hmm. I'm a tech manager at Zwift. Fuck you. What did I do? I was just making a joke. Go back to forcing people to input their weight when they get on the bike so that they can't cheese themselves on the... Grand Girona or whatever the fuck you're doing on it's, it's all fucking wheels and iPads, man. They will not divide us, okay? You did the division? I did not, man. I did not. I'm just sick of people being like, I don't want to buy a Peloton because in 2029 the company might not exist. Okay, buy a fucking Schwinn, man. Buy a Nordic track. It's none of my business. Have you considered a real bike? Have you considered watching dash cam videos on YouTube and thinking about what would happen to my family if I passed away because somebody in a white Tesla Model X opened their Falcon door into me while I was riding in the bike lane. Peloton bros are the worst. What are you even talking about, man? I'm saying live and let live. You're sedentary asses. Like, I would never buy a Peloton. Nobody, ca nobody cares, dude. Nobody cares. You do you. Lift some weights and then get back to me? Brother, you're so far out of the meta. That's lifting weights is a 2019 meta, okay? Now we're cardio maxing. We're zone two Andes. Weightlifting Andes when it's time to play a sport with friends. We don't, I said, just said he will not divide us, okay? I just said he will not divide us. That being said, you ever see Physical 100 when they got the really strong guys? And then like they have to do cardio and they're like, sorry, this isn't my strong suit. And they're like out of breath doing the cardio. And then they get drafted for the teams because there's like strength competitions. And then you're like, oh, well, they got the strongest motherfucker. And this event is like lift a bunch of shit. They're going to kill it. And then the motherfuckers aren't even that strong. Like what happened, man? That's you're supposed to be your thing. 
You're like 5'7", 280 pounds, 9% body fat in the gym three hours a day. And, and the, the person that's like 100 pounds lighter than you is lifting the same number of sandbags. I'm getting lit up in Discord because someone posted the clip. It's not your fault, okay? It's just you have to understand that if you're a, if you're a Peloton Andrew, you do get asked about the corporation a lot. People legit ask me with like fresh faced and rosy cheeks. They're like, should I buy a Peloton stock? No, bro. You should buy like VTI. This is not financial advice. Me, all of the finance shows that I uh, listen to the podcast of, the first five minutes of the show, here's what to do. The sixth minute of the show, this is intended for educational, or this is in, intended for entertainment purposes only and should not be misconstrued as financial advice. Why don't you 90s Max get a stationary bike without an iPad on it? Honestly, my mental is like pretty good. Like I'm watching movies without looking at my phone, but it's not that good. Like if you, if you were training for a triathlon indoors in like the 1980s, your mental's built different for sure. Anyone else triple levered right now? No, but did you see that post that was like, if you were all in on micro strategy, you'd be up like 40% year to date. But if you were all in on the tripper, triple levered micro strategy ETF, you'd be like at negative 180% of your original investment or something. Did you see the post? Uh, I only, I don't go to Wall Street bets, but I saw it percolating up through Twitter. That was like, um, this 19 year old lost his life savings. Uh, shorting copper with options because people didn't like the way that the bronze medals looked at the Olympics. So he, he predicted that copper prices would tank because like bronze medals were aesthetically not pleasing. And he was like, I was really confident in my thesis. What kind of 19 year old has life savings? Well, the thing is fucked is that because he was on like, because of the way that the options work, He's actually lost like more money than he has. Like he owes the brokerage like 50 grand or something like that. He'll figure it out. And then like, dude, the replies are so good. The replies are like, it's a pretty expensive tuition, but like, you know what? Everyone's got to learn that lesson at some point. No, they don't, man. No, they don't. Not firsthand. That one's a mistake. You just got to take the L on that one. Don't do that. You, I mean, you're only 19. I'm sorry that like it's it's a very young age to be learning something like that. But imagine better Twitch TV for live leak. I'm not touching that one. Okay. <laughs> Get two team members off the enemy train by the end of turn three. Survive till the end of turn three. It's turn one. Kind of like my nightmare is like dying falling down an elevator shaft and then like the live chat is like he will never fall down the elevator shaft <laughs> like reducing the sum total of my entire life like all my hopes dreams accomplishments failures my rich internal monologue the relationship i have with my friends and family like distilling that down to like guy live commentary on guy dying oh Guys, I saw two squirrels fucking doggy style yesterday in a tree upside down. I was gonna talk about it with Corey, but he's, he's always weird about this kind of like erotic stuff, which I'm not his therapist, I'm not gonna get into that. I was gonna bring it, or during Lethal, I was gonna bring it up. Do you think animals do it in different styles? Like you'll occasionally be at the park and you'll see like two dogs doing it as they do. Do you think they ever go like belly to belly missionary or something like that? Or like squirrel on top? reverse cow squirrel etc as i know you go crazy for the puns so there's like <laughs> all right gang i'm out you're weak i just think it's like one of the great can i just say one of the great flexes of humanity is that we're animals but what we consider to be the quote unquote default sexual position is one that most animals don't do Maybe even can't do. You don't see too many other animals doing it missionary. I, <laughs> I was like reverse cowgirl. <laughs> they also don't talk. Yep. Animals stay losing, to be honest. Do you think animals have fetishes? No, I, mean, I think, I, I mean, people are going to take this as like a, they're going to take it the wrong way. 
I don't know if they got time for that kind of shit, though, you know? I think they're too busy. Dolphins do? Well, they're different. They're kind of like us, right? Busy doing what? Fucking surviving, dog. Rook to E5. <laughs> I know you can skip these missions. I really... Oh, the, the children long for XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, man. It's not, I'm not saying that the game is bad. I'm just saying when they get into this puzzle stuff, it's like I get that you're playing with the mechanics, but it's not what I want to do. What I want to do is have a, a repertoire of tools in the toolbox and then try to solve a mission creatively, but there's like multiple different ways to solve it. I don't want like, hey, have you ever considered the novel way of doing this? And then, yeah, sometimes you're just like, fuck it. I'm going to shoot a rocket launcher at this big ass muton or whatever. Just skip it then. Best day of my life. Unique perk acquired. Swap with targets you can't see. I love to see that. That is also, again, I'm not knocking um, Tactical Breach Wizards. This would probably be a top 15, top 20 game of 2023 for me. I got the year wrong. That's a troubling thought. <laughs> but like, there's like four cutscenes in XCOM. Optimus Prime comes in and is like, we need to save the world. And then you fuck off for like, I don't even know, like 11 hours. And then he's like, go to Newfoundland. And then you're like, what the fuck's in Newfoundland? Ah! And then like the fucking UFO crashes or something like that. And then you're like, the end. <laughs> you, could <laughs> you could just skip every level. A man is to skip all the levels and all the lore. <laughs> Oh, man. No, 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 no. My ex-girlfriend streaming Stardew Valley. Thanks for the notification on my phone, Twitch. <laughs> He's crashing out. Don't crash out. It's okay. You should unfollow, though. Unless, does she have, like, three followers? Is she going to know if you unfollow? That's a tough situation. That's it. Sometimes you get... I mean, it's going to be unpleasant either way. I think if it brings you that much emotional turmoil, you should probably unfollow and then just eat the cost. Yes, and we're on okay terms. You gotta unfollow. I'm sorry. If it if it brings you pain, you gotta unfollow. You could I'm not giving you advice like Dan style. I'm not telling you to hop in the Discord, but you could be like, hey, you know, it was unpleasant to get notifications that you're streaming because you know we were in a relationship together. So at least for now I gotta unfollow, but I'll follow you back later. And then she'll probably be like, Oh, okay, that sucks, but I get it. And then you got a blocker on everything. <laughs> Maybe don't follow that last part, but. Or you could, you could turn off push notifications, but then what if, when you go to the website, do you have the following list on the left? <gasps> predictive bolt. And then pull him through the predictive bolt. That's pretty solid. That's a pretty solid turn for a guy like me. Are there a lot of levels left? We're gonna make it, okay? It's like a Peloton ride. If it's 90 minutes, after, after 40 minutes, you're like, oh my God, I got 50 minutes left. You gotta kill that voice in your brain, all right? You're gonna get there. The way you get there is you're not munching 50 minutes at a time. You, you munch a minute 50 times in a row. Why does Chad not like this? I think they like it as a game. They don't love it as a streaming game. Because it's minimal banter and a lot of like, what I'm gonna do, like puzzling out a turn. But we are like 90% of the way through the game to begin with. So we're going to finish it and then we'll get to, we'll play some super massive stuff once we're done. I like this game because it gets chat to chat with each other. <laughs> That's nice, so we turn it into an old-fashioned IRC. Am I stupid? Why didn't it do the damage to you? Because it's not damage, it's like knockback damage or something? Nobody knows. Okay, that's a bad sign. <laughs> it did on the initial one. Ah. You ain't kidding. 
It's not even damage, first off. It's some other shit they don't know about yet. <laughs> Diet Coke Zero has nutrients. It's just science hasn't figured out what they are yet. I know what you're talking about. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I got, I got a whole new game plan. <clears throat> I've been thinking lately. All social media is either Facebook or Discord. Reddit, that's Facebook. Twitter, that's Discord. YouTube, that's Facebook. Tinder, that's Discord. Twitch, you'd think it's Facebook, but it's actually Discord. I don't, I, I disagree with you in a way. In what way is Twitch Facebook? And in what way is Twitter? Twitter's not Discord, Twitter is Facebook in my head. I have seen those Twitter posts with 400k likes that are like deep faked images, but like, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's actually X the everything app. Twitch is Discord. Twitch is not Facebook. Twitch is not Facebook. I don't know, you, you've kind of scrambled my brain. Be real with me, y'all. How many missions are left here? <laughs> I, can't, I can't deal with this level of discourse while also like playing the game. Like three levels. I can't fucking do it, man. I can't fucking do it. I don't hate it. I'm just sick of the puzzles. I, I wish... I wish it were... I wish it weren't. Chad is doing the thing you always talk about when someone plays Valorant. I know! That's why I need to like learn my lesson, but... Here we fucking are. <laughs> I'm not quiet quitting. I'm, I'm, I'm raging against that good night, man. I'm trying to get Chad moving. I'm, I'm reading nonsensical comments, okay? I'm doing my best. That's why we gotta finish it. We gotta finish it so that we can, we can move on to other stuff, okay? You wouldn't understand. You wouldn't understand what it's like to be me. Tom Petty sang that song. What do you think about that? What do you guys think about that? What do you think about this guy, Tom Petty? Tom Petty? Many people are talking about him these days. What's the highest tier item in your fridge right now? Great question, Toasty. Thanks for your support. You ever see a dog do this? What, what do you mean by tier? Highest tier? I mean, I place a high priority on my leftovers for like lunch meal prep. That's a big one for a guy like me. If those were pilfered from my fridge, I would be very disappointed. Because it's not just that it tastes good, it would like screw up the whole flow of my day. So I'm going to say my, my, leftover, my leftover meal prep. Also, cold brew as well. If, if, some, if I woke up in the morning and somebody took the cold brew out of the fridge, that'd be a rough day for a guy like me. What about the overnight oats? I would hate to see him go. But I could make it work. Like, I could, I could live my life. I would just eat something else for breakfast, were that the case. But losing the lunch leftovers, I don't know. That would mean, like, I'd have to go out and get some, go to the grocery store to get some food or something like that. Pizza? I'm not saying, like, other food doesn't exist. Don't be glib. I'm simply saying it would fuck up, like, my whole day. This is the last level in the mission. Don't worry about it. In the mission? I thought you were going to say in the game, but I haven't seen live in a while, so oh, it doesn't really make sense, does it? This game isn't over yet. Listen, kid. Seems like a long game. Yes and no. You're on the right track. I'm sick of the puzzles, man. It's not their fault. I mean, except in like a literal sense, but I'm just like, I just wanna... I just want to put Overwatch on my last two units, watch this guy walk into two 50% chances to hit, have them both hit, have him die, and then go back to base, man. And then go back to base. 
play something else? Yeah, but we're like two missions from the end of the game, man. It is a, like this is sunk cost fallacy, but but I'm the motherfucker who sunk the cost. Just restart and disable shield gens. If I have to restart the mission, this game will not see the light of heaven ever again. That's it, man. That's it. Oh my god. Clean. Clean. Well done, honestly. Don't patronize me. Don't condescend to me, game. There's three missions left. That shit might have to wait till next Monday, man. I gotta amortize it out a little bit. We gotta, we gotta get some group content. One to 1.5 hours left in the game. They, they honey dicked us, man. Act one was like 90 minutes. Act two was like an hour. Act three was like three hours, but I was like, then we worked, we worked through that. We might have to, we might have to call it, man. And it, the other thing, I'm not having a great time either. <laughs> we might have to say, actually, we're not going to finish it. I mean, I'm not even reading this shit anymore. I'm just... You could just crank it down to normal. I think it's more like I could just hit skip level seven times. Get me out of here. Okay, that's the end of the stream today. I think for me personally, it would be better if it was just like... I know that people say this and they don't mean it, but like we really do need to make games shorter. I get it, the people waited a long time. They spend... 20 bucks on it, they want a dollar per hour, even though that's getting like increasingly sort of ridiculous to ask for where we're in 2024. Average game should be about 45 minutes. It should be like, it's a platformer. Oh wait, there's a gimmick. Use the gimmick three times. Use the gimmick in a way that you didn't anticipate ever having to use it to solve a puzzle. Fight a boss by jumping on his head three times. You get to the end, grab something, and then rewind time until you find out that you're the motherfucker who invented the atomic bomb in the first place. That's the ticket, man. That's the ticket. Yeah, if it costs like five bucks. That's why I'm pogging up over fish-like. But you disingenuous motherfuckers were like, five dollars for this? This is in 2008, buddy. Okay, there's not 14% unemployment. You can't get a foot of salami for five bucks anymore. This is 2024. That's what like a medium coffee starting to cost these days. All right, Kate, what are we doing? Cause you're not, you're not streaming, right? Or are you gonna stream later? My guy plays NES World Championships for 30 hours. You had 15 hours of Wizards is too much. Yeah, cause it's like, you know, oh, you could fucking jerk off for an hour, but you can't even find two minutes to trim your toenails. Yeah, cause jerking off feels amazing, dumbass. Trimming your toenails can be a bit of a chore. It could be a bit of a drag. Especially if you're like, damn, I just did this shit like two weeks ago. <laughs> you can have fun for forever, but like when you're doing a chore, you get bored. Yeah, man. <laughs> Obviously. You can do both at the same time. Now that's, that I never thought about. All right, I'm gonna send you to somebody. I think. I send you to Chibli. Why not? Enjoy the rest of your evening and I will see you tomorrow. Later. Just waking up in the morning, gotta thank God. I don't know, but today seems kind of odd. No barking from the dog. No smog. Mama breakfast with no frog. I got my grub on, but didn't pig out. Finally got a call from a girl I wanted to dig out. Hooked it up for later, as I ate the dope. Think you where I live? I know the 24. I gotta go, cause I got me a drop top. And if I hit the switch, I can make a bad drop. Had to stop at a red light. Looking in my mirror, now I get the inside. And everything is alright. I got a beat from Ken, and she can do it all night. Called up the homies, and I'm asking y'all, which part are y'all playing basketball? Give me on the court, and I'm trouble. 
Last week, messed around and got a triple double. Thinking brothers every way like MJ. Can't believe today was a good day.